So as I was leaving this church, we got this beautiful shot over here. I think what was the head nun quickly closed that gate behind me. And when I turned around, I saw this scene here. Let me show you. I'm gonna open up my camera app, and this is a scene I see. Now, I'm at my 1X here. It's not bad, and it's already more interesting because we're appreciating a perspective. I'm not looking at it straight on like this. Just a red wall here. I'm appreciating perspective by getting at a lower angle and shooting up at something, but it's not quite there yet. After you shoot for a little bit of time, you start to answer the same question that you should be asking over and over and over again. What would this look like if? What would this look like with a wider angle? What would this look like if I got down low? What would this look like down that alley and compressed all the way? Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I switch to my 0.5, it's gonna make things a little bit more dramatic. So I'm gonna switch to my 0.5 here, and now you're seeing it's a much more dramatic shot. I'm taking that foreground and I'm stretching it. And I'm using this idea of keystoning that we used before, which is basically to take a vertical object and make it tilt backwards. I'm using that to my advantage. Now this isn't enough, but it's a start. I'm now I'm really starting to distort the scene in a way that is not true to reality, it's true to my vision. That's photography right there. Another thing I could do to make this stand out a little bit more is this. I'm gonna to swipe to the left for my photo, all the way at the top hand side on the right where you see these three concentric circles, I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna swipe down or drag down until I change this to noir, my black and white noir. And I'm gonna swipe back to the right to get rid of that. What I just did is turn this into a black and white preview. Now the image I take will be black and white too. I can turn that on and off afterwards. I'm not stuck, this isn't a permanent decision. But it does help me pre-visualize and preview what the scene's gonna look like. Most importantly, it removes color. Now the scene, it's not that the color was terrible, it's that the color was hiding something. Sometimes when you see color, all you see is color, especially in Mexico. There's vibrancy and there's colors everywhere. So what I wanna do is remove that color and we're just gonna help me see, and maybe you too, geometry. And what I wanna point your attention to is specifically triangles. If you ever read a book on composition or ever heard a lecture about composition, a lot of people will talk about this idea of triangles. So think about this. If I take the color out and I have this as black and white, let me compose this in a way where if I compose it like this to get rid of that keystoning, it's kind of boring. The second I stretch up and move into position, we're starting to get something really interesting. Now I don't want to cut off the bottom right hand edge of the frame here. I'm keeping that gating intact. I'm just going to touch the top right hand corner with the edge of the frame here, right there. Perfect. But how many triangles do we have? We have a triangle in our corner. We have a triangle from that gate itself. We have a triangle created right in the middle of that frame. We have an upside down triangle in that sky. So on the left hand side, we have that big triangle created by what was that boring red wall. We have triangles everywhere. That's why a shot like this has energy. That's how it works, is we create something out of nothing. We create magic, we see magic, we see beauty. Using this black and white composition is really gonna help you do that. But if you start looking a little bit differently, you start looking for scenes for what they could be and what your vision is, instead of for what they immediately are, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. Okay, now we can move on, let's go. This video was a free preview of my Capture It All online course. In this course, you'll discover how to use your iPhone to literally capture everything that's happening around you. We'll talk about composition, storytelling, timing, photographing people, recording videos, time lapses, flying a drone, and so much more. If you'd like to use your iPhone to its fullest potential, please take a look at the full version of Capture It All. You'll find the link in the description right next to this video. So click on that link right now and I'll see you inside the full version of the course.